Ladies and gentlemen, what you're about to see is an exploration of history in the music world. <coughs> Excuse me, I just got a haircut. As you may know, if you've seen my most recent video, I played a one and a half million dollar guitar, Eric Clapton's slow hand Stratocaster. The fine folks from Gotta Have Rock and Roll flew me out to New York to play that guitar. And well, let's see. I'm actually recording this on Monday the 23rd of November, as you can see there. Now hopefully that video has hundreds of thousands of views and what they brought me out to do was successful in that I promoted their auction. But the thing about that auction is there are hundreds, maybe even a thousand things that are being auctioned in a batch. I didn't just play that amazing one-of-a-kind guitar. I also played Billy Gibbons' main touring Les Paul. I played the War Axe bass used by Kiss on stage. It still had blood all over it. Thanks a lot to Gotta Have Rock and Roll for having me and allowing me to make these awesome memories. And without further ado, please enjoy me playing Metallica riffs on James Hetfield's first guitar and a bunch of awesome rock and roll memorabilia. That's how you do the vlogs like that. We'll this is it. That's pretty cool. Ta-da! Hey, oh, I know what's in there. Yeah. This is one of the Holy Grail pieces. This is the boa that Jimi Hendrix wore on the Are You Experienced album cover and during his Monterey Pop Festival in 67 on stage. He actually nicknamed this the Magic Boa. What's, so it's imbued with some sort of Hendrix magic wizardry. Yep, yep. And he actually gave this boa to Carl Ferris, and Carl Ferris was the photographer for Are You Experienced. He photographed the whole album cover, and Hendrix and him were super close. He gave it to him, and he was like, look, thank you so much, here you go. And now it's in this auction. May I? Yeah, of course. I just got 28% better at guitar. This is awesome, man. That's close as I'm gonna get to hug Hendrix. Yeah, and also <laughs> that, this is estimated uh, to sell for seventy-five dollars to $100,000. Whoa! Yeah. The most <laughs> expensive garment I've ever worn. Now, what's the story with this again? M-U-Y-A. This was carved into the back of the guitar. What does it mean? What? Metal up your ass. Metal up your ass. So this right here is a set of autographs signed by The Beatles. Signed in 1963, you can see on the top there's McCartney, then Harrison, Lennon, and Ringo. And what's cool is on the Lennon, you can see a beautiful brown, bold inscription. This actually is an ACDC album signed by the whole band, Bon Scott, Angus Young, Phil Rudd, Cliff Williams, and Malcolm Young. Signed by everybody with Bon. You can see Bon here with their Blood live album. Who's your favorite ACDC singer? Bon, oh, I like Bon over Bon. Oh, that's bon the correct guy. answer. Yeah. Well, people... I still love Back in Black, don't get me wrong. You know Bon Scott <laughs> actually wrote Back in Black. I did not know that. Yeah, he did. It's, people debated, I think he did. Bon Scott's apparition came to Brian Johnson and gave him his blessing. That's the story, in a really? hotel room at night, yeah. Interesting. Zeppelin signed album, Led Zeppelin 3. Uh, signed by everybody, John Bottom, Robert Plant, Jimmy Page, John Paul Jones. It's kind of faded. There's actually only around 30 to 40 known fully signed albums in existence. <laughs> Van 
Halen signed album, Vintage, signed in 1978. You can actually see it comes the original ticket stub to where it was signed. Ooh, Black Sabbath? Yeah, so actually this, <laughs> this, this was signed when Van Halen first met Ozzy in 78, when he actually opened for Sabbath. It's the first time they met. You can see beautiful inscriptions, you know, he said, you know, get get your bones out, crush Van Halen style. Um, That's cool. Yeah, and it's so amazing seeing like beautiful signatures from 78. This is really cool, yeah. Dark Side of the Moon, Pink Floyd, Mason, Gilmore Rogers, Wright. Considered as one of the best albums ever, best album artwork ever. Who signed in the, the silver? Yeah, so this is Waters. Waters signed in silver. Uh, actually, we see there's a red signature here. That one was kind of erased, so it kind of, huh. yeah. It makes the album less desirable, but still very cool. I desire it. <laughs> Yardbirds signed album. So the Yardbirds actually was where Jimmy Page got his start, right. Jeff Beck, and Clapton. And so you can see here it's signed by everybody and signed by Clapton, which makes this extremely rare. <laughs> I know that was Dave Mustaine. Now I bet you're wondering, what's the story behind this guitar? Well, this actually guitar was used in their second ever live show as Metallica. Hetfield actually borrowed this guitar uh, from another musician a while ago, and he just never gave it back, which was kind of funny. So the history with this guitar is it comes from somebody who actually auditioned for the band uh, back in 81. Metallica actually did the first ever live show uh, in Anaheim in 1982. Now in the first show, uh, funny enough, Hetfield didn't play guitar, he was strictly vocals. And that was the only show ever, Hetfield never played guitar. And in the second show, he actually played this guitar. Hetfield actually borrowed this guitar, and what's even cooler about it is on the back, Hetfield carved the signature saying, metal up your ass. Back in late, late 82, when Metallica was leaving, they were leaving California, they needed money to travel because they didn't really have much money. So Hetfield actually sold this guitar to the guy who auditioned for the band. And then all these years later, I actually bought it. This is actually one of my favorite pieces. It's a mini guitar that Glenn Frey of the Eagles donated. <laughs> and if you look... Look at that cute little guy. Yeah, let me make sure. It's actually signed by them all, if you can see that. Nice. Yeah, yeah. This was donated in 1996 for an animal charity. Eagles help dress dogs, cats. Yeah. Let me just do a couple Billy Gibbons pinch harmonics. Sure, yeah. Just for posterity. <laughs> They must have really liked this pickup switch. Yeah. <laughs> I love beat up guitars. It's nothing like it. Yeah, that's making noise. Oh, it's all like yeah, it's gnarly. Yeah, be careful. Yeah. <laughs> that's, all, that's all fake blood from the shows. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, 
awesome. <laughs>